Okay. Um, this is a quick intro to the blues scale and how to jam a little bit. So what I'm going to show you is the normal blues scale um, starting in the first position is open on the sixth, G on the sixth, open on the fifth, which is A, second on the fifth, B, and what makes it a blues scale is you actually play the flattened B, so it goes. So, E, G, A, B flat, B, fourth string open, D, and then uh, fourth string second fret, B. And you can repeat that. You're on the E, and then the next is G, which is the open on the third. Then you go to the uh, A, A flat, B, then B, which is the uh, open on the second string. Then you go to the D on the, which is the third fret on the second string, and then open first string, E and then G for good measure. So, playing it slow. Open, third, open, first, second, open, second, open, second, third, open, third, open, Sometimes I don't play the uh, um, the the uh, B flat, which is on the fourth string, um, but it's available, and for some riffs it's good. So I'm going to use just as a, a a backing kind of thing, backing track, you know, the classic uh, Van Halen version of I so bass notes are open, six string, fourth, six string. Open, E string, 4th string, open, 6th string, 4th fret, 6th string, 5th string, 2nd fret, which is the B, then you go to the 4th fret on the 5th string, 5th uh, fret on the 5th string, and then you go back down the other way. And you can now move this to the A, same pattern. Actually, play that pattern going moving to the B, or you can just play the B and play it using the um, the C sharp and D. So I'll do it both ways. So which is just playing the chords. E, scale on here but this if, if in the guitar everything's repeated at the 12th fret so the the note E on the open sixth string is the same as the 12th fret so if I use the same pattern but instead of playing the open playing the 12th fret I get this Conversely, on the A, if you play A blues scale, so depending on what the key is, you can move it and play the blues scale, in starting with the root note, which is on the sixth string. So again, Ice Cream Man is an E blues scale.
So if I were to listen to the play over it, first it's in E. Well, I just don't. Uh, you don't want it to just sound very rote by playing the when you're listening to the. You don't want to go. I mean, you can start that way, but it really doesn't have any feel. So the first thing is obviously listen to people that you really like and get some ideas. So normally, I'm going to start uh, by using the blues scale. And um, one of the things that blues players play is they have a couple of tricks. One is vibrato, which is taking your finger and rocking it back and forth. There's, and you're actually making the, pit, the string bend slightly back and forth. B.B. King, great vibrato, others. Or back and forth um, by holding the rest of your hand and moving the finger this way, up and down. So side to side, up and, up and down. Both have different feels. So we're going to add that to it. So if the uh, thing is going... Okay, so I'm going to start with that. That's basically a B, B, D. Why did I pick that? It just sounds good. Because you're, you're, you're resolving that little uh, riff on the E. Now, it's going to move to the A. So where am I going to go? I probably want to end on the A. Well, the A down here is on the 17th fret. So that's going to be my little solo. Now I'll just reverse it, which because now we're on the B. So instead of starting the B and going to E, I'm going from the E back to the B and back to the E. So let's hear that. simple but it, it's a solo now what you want to start doing is taking that same concept of feeling the pocket of where it's going not following exactly the rhythm and hitting the notes that sound reasonable so uh, on electric I would another key thing is bending strings so in this case I'm taking the fifth string and trying to raise it up a whole step starting on the 15th fret when I do that, I'm hitting the E, which is the same as the 12th fret on the 6th string. So if I were to play that, it has a pretty cool blues sound. So if, back to... I go... did there was again taking the same idea of using two strings bending one and holding the other ones the same here I bent the fourth string from the G which is the um, from the A which is the 14th fret to the to the up a whole step to the B which is the 12th fret on the second string so once again I'm sorry third string 14th fret bending it a whole step to the other um, to make it sound like the B, which is the second string 12th fret. So let's put that together. One, two, one, two, three, four.
there you go. Um, I'm chopping this all together. Hopefully it'll be decent. Uh, this is Bushy Puppy. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>